Good morning, everybody. Oliver Joyce here from Whiskey Barrel Studios. How you all doing? Well, I have an announcement. With Sword and Sandals Pirates finishing up in December of last year, and then uh, January spent building the little um, extra Jewel of Heroes edition to Sword and Sandals 2 Redux, you know, the retro graphics and classic um, sound effects and so on. Uh, check that out if you get a chance and if you like Sword and Sandals 2. But um, it's been a busy few months and I hadn't actually uh, let you know what I'm going to be working on. Um, but I can happily announce today that uh, my new project, which starts next week, is going to be Spartacus. Um, this is a platform slash combat action game featuring the legendary gladiator hero Spartacus. Now, you may or may know, not know the story of Spartacus, but um, basically he was a famous gladiator in the ancient Roman days who um, rebelled against the Romans and um, led a gladiator rebellion, basically. Um, he broke out of um, the gladiator training school and um, with a whole bunch of other gladiators, went and freed the slaves and um, rebelled against the forces of Rome and fought many battles until, um, spoiler, he and his army eventually were um, defeated in battle and uh, crucified along the Appian Way in Rome, as the story goes. But it's a really cool story, and I, this little uh, synopsis of it doesn't do it any justice, but it is the subject of my next game. Now... Just about every game I make is part of the Swords and Sandals franchise, and uh, so too shall be Spartacus. In a very, I'm going to say, uh, uh, it's, it's a vague link, but there is going to be a link. It'll be, um, the, the, the working title is Spartacus Swords and Sandals Heroes. Uh, which is a bit of a mouthful, but the big word would be Spartacus and then calling Swords and Sandals Heroes. That's what I'm going with right now. And I'm basically going to do a... Um, the idea is that uh, the wizard Bargle or one of the characters from, Spartac uh, from Swords and Sandals will be telling one of the legends of um, gladiators from other worlds because in the world of Swords and Sandals, um, most of the heroes and characters got there through a... Um, portal called the constellation mirror and spartacus is one of those gladiators from long ago in another land who in our story may just end up going to the worlds and sword of sandals after the adventures you know this may or may not happen i'm still sort of fleshing out the story in my head at the moment now uh, my publisher and i have been coming up with um what we think is the best fit for the story of Spartacus and we did a few different design documents and um and you know game design treatments and so on on it uh and the one that we've come with right now is uh the combat platform RPG style game which um I mentioned earlier and now what that actually is uh what I mean by that is you will play Spartacus uh as a little small gladiator you know a pixel art gladiator 32 by 32 pixels high um, and you will start off in a dungeon and each level you'll have to reach the exit and by doing that in traditional platform fashion there'll be uh, ladders and platforms and obstacles to climb but what I want to do is I want to make this a little bit more combat heavy and a bit more strategic in that there are enemies, um, jailers, Roman soldiers, um, even the supernatural perhaps, because um, this is of course a Swords and Sandals story, so why not put some magic in there? Some cool Roman gods and that kind of thing that we could um, easily implement into the game. But the idea is that the levels will be, you know, one screen, two screen wide maybe, and you'll look at you'll arrive at the start of each level and there'll be a bunch of slaves that you have to free in cages and these are optional but the more slaves you free the more sort of bonuses you'll get and uh, you'll be able to unlock powers but the idea is that you go through the level and you have to find your way to the end of the level through your platforming skills avoiding spike traps and enemies and so on but you'll be able to use the traps to your advantage so there might be a boulder um 
in the top left corner, but um, there's a little wooden spike keeping it in place. So if you can knock down the spike, the boulder will roll down and kill your uh, Roman jailer captors, you know. And you might be able to lure over the um, Roman soldiers over to another spike trap and then push a button and skewer them. I want all these kind of like emergent sort of, they call it sandbox style gameplay, which you don't see that often in platform games. Occasionally you do, but this isn't like a, a, a Mario or a Sonic um, fast action platform. This is more um, a little bit Prince of Persia, if you will. Maybe a little bit Meat Boy, not as fast paced as that, but um, challenging, but also combat related. And you'll be able to pick up weapons, armor, and weapons, helmets, and stuff like that. And I want them, your gladiator, ch to change as he's holding the different weapons. Um, right now, I'm still in the design phase. I actually start work on the project on Monday. And I will be using Unity. Uh, and this is not my first game in Unity, but it's the first game I've made in a long time. And so I'm having to relearn a lot about Unity because it changes so much. Unity is the number one uh, most popular game engine in the world. Um, it, its other rivals include Unreal and Game Maker, but Unity at the moment is and has been for a long time the most popular. I've been using a game engine um, called Starling, a part of the Adobe Air framework, which is basically uh, graphics, graphics accelerated flash. And you know the old Sword and Sounds games were made in flash, so at the time it made sense for me to build them in this engine that I could port to mobile and port to Steam, you know, have them on your iPhone and that kind of thing. And it served me well for a long time, but it's looking very long in the tooth and you know i mean i i'm proud of pirates but i'll be the first to admit it looks dated i didn't have access to a lot of the special effects and you know lighting and fancy things that uh, something like unity is uh, makes possible so the time has come for me to jump ship move over to unity and as a result of that i'm going to be aiming to put spartacus on consoles like the switch um, that would be awesome because I love the Switch. The Nintendo Switch is um, one of the greatest consoles I've ever owned. Uh, it's awesome. It's so good for handheld gaming and indie gaming that I would love to bring Spartacus to Switch. And later on, I want to bring Swords and Sandals 6 to the Switch as well. That No, no work has been done on that at all, but uh, that will start later in the year. So Spartacus, time frame-wise, I'm estimating... And it's, it's always impossible to do estimates, and I always blow them out, but I'm thinking about six months to get this game done. I've got an artist working with me, uh, a fantastic guy called Brulov, who uh, is best known for his work on another awesome um, gothic role-playing platform-style game called Blasphemous, which you may or may not have heard of. And Brulov is an awesome artist from the Ukraine, and he does pixel art. The game that we're doing is going to be pixel art, and it's going to be quite a gritty style, uh, not cutesy at all, more um, Castlevania, Rastan Saga, that kind of thing. I've only got one tiny bit of artwork to show. Yeah, if we check this out, this is the main character, Spartacus, and he is blown up to the nth degree. This character is only 32 pixels high. So each one of those squares is a pixel. He's only going to be, you know, yay big. Very small indeed. Um, but that's so I can make the levels feel bigger and still constrain it to a single screen or, or two screens. Um, but the art style is really cool. And, you know, it's hard to tell from that image being as zoomed in as it, as it is. But if you kind of squint or, or, you know, zoom out, you can see the character is quite a sort of muscular, heroic guy um, with a... Uh, a, a Roman tunic and shoulder guards. He's got a beard and sort of shoulder length hair. Uh, he is a gladiator and one of the most famous of all gladiators, Spartacus, of course. And he will be wearing blue uh, as the hero, but that may change as you get different um, outfits and so on. I'll probably do some color swapping. But yeah, that's uh, Spartacus himself. And that's all the art I have because. Uh, Brulov is actually working on Spartacus animations at the moment and we don't have any tile sets or anything to show you but they will be coming in future videos. And what I'm going to be doing as well is I'm going to be trying to document uh, this game through my videos 
and you know showing you um, each week a video or two about the progress and what I've learned in Unity and you know just how I'm getting along with it. Um, so if you're interested in game dev, uh, please be sure to tune into those videos and um, you and I can learn a little bit about this together as we build it. I'm a little daunted. I think it's gonna be a, a challenging project. I've built platform games in the past, but not for a long time and not with Unity. So I'm excited to see what um, the possibilities are like, but I'm also like, what have I got myself in for? When you've been building something in one game engine for so long as I have, then you switch to another. Sometimes you can feel like a complete rookie, like a like you've never uh, done a thing before, you know, and the simplest things can feel challenging. But I have released one game in Unity about four years ago, which was a Marble Madness style game called Dark Rolls, which is a, a play on words of Dark Souls. Not a very good game, and it's not available in the app stores anymore. Maybe I'll put it up again one day, but it's not that great. I removed it. It was the only 3D game I've ever made, actually. But I learned enough about Unity to know that I'm confident in it as a game engine and I'm excited to be working with it. Um, so there you have it. Um, I will be talking to you more and more about Spartacus in the coming weeks and months. And I love to have you guys, your feedback. So please let me know in the comments what you think of this. I'm also um, toying with doing a Patreon and I'll uh, do a specific video about that in the coming weeks. So I would love to do a Patreon because um, I need more art for this game and art is expensive and I'm happy to cover all the programming myself, but um, art is something that none of the Swords and Sandals games in the past have ever had much of an art budget at all. So, you know, we're talking three, four hundred dollars of art for most of those games and that's why you know and i do the rest of the art but i can't do that indefinitely and you know these artists are so much better than i could ever be so i'm going to need um to raise some money to get art so but i'm going to offer things in return this isn't going to be a give me money give me money type thing so look i'm going to put together something that i hope uh interests you guys as fans of sword and sandals and um I want to bring you into the world of Sword and Sandals as much as I can. So we'll talk about that in the coming weeks. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to be uh, bringing Spartacus to you this year. And uh, great to have you along for the ride. And uh, I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.